Thanks, Rhonda. Think, Jake. Oh. Think, think, think. Who could talk about birds of prey? Mm. And ham? Uh, oh, oh, how about the... Nah, 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 nah. Unbelievable. Oh, Jake, 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 Jake. Ha, ha, yeah, I know. What if... Uh, we... Nah, no, nah, no. Uh, While I wait for them to notice me, why don't we drop in on our very own crazy cockroach cook? Hey, good to be some slack, will you? Oh, oh sorry, sorry, yeah, boss. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, bonjour, bonjour, my petite animal friends. Today, I, Yves Saint Laroche, will show you how to eat like an eagle by swooping down on your food from above. But if you say you are a roach, roaches do not uh, swoop. Well, that does not stop the great Yves Saint Laroche. Oh no, because with help from a lazy but inexpensive assistant, a dullard, Aye. I will show you how to swoop down like an eagle. Dullard, uh, pull me up. Okay, you got it, boss. Yeah. Oh, where is my little evil with me? Right over there. Yeah. Oh, I don't see him. Where, where? Hey, I don't see him anywhere. Hello, Yvette. I am up here. Oh, Evie, are you doing that thing where you show us how to swoop like an eagle on our launch? Oh, uh, did, did you say launch? Oh, great. We're break time. Uh-uh. Ah! Oh, oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I fell on my head. No wonder those eagles are bald. Oh. Thanks, Eve. Now, Jake, who can we get? I don't think. Oh. Uh, um... Will you come on, you guys? What about me? Uh, Armstrong! Uh, yeah, what a great idea. You can help us talk about birds of prey. Mm. Yeah, well, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, let, let's roll that film of the chicken hawks in action. Uh, well, well, actually, Armstrong, the first pictures aren't of a chicken hawk. <laughs> what? Well, but, but they are great shots of a golden eagle. Golden eagle. Oh, just what we need. More eagle pictures. But Armstrong, the golden eagle, is one of the most beautiful birds in the world. Well, he's not bad looking if you go for that non-chicken hawk look. And uh, as all of us birds of prey know, the golden eagle's eyesight is four times as sharp as that of a human. Speaking of sharp, that guy looks like he could use a manicure. Oh, Ed, those are his talents. All birds of prey use their talents to grab and hold on to their food. Oh, hey, eh, there's a helpful golden eagle giving a little mouse a ride home. <laughs> uh, well, I, I think that mouse is part of that golden eagle's dinner. Uh, he's caught it and is bringing it back to the nest for his family. Ooh, looks like it's going to be a late meal tonight, Phyllis. Golden eagles hunt all sizes of animals, mice, fox, rabbits, marmots, and even young deer. Well, that beats trying to fill up on a mouse, but give me a pizza with double cheese and extra pepperoni any day. Me too. I love pepperoni. Mmm, yeah, yeah. Well, well, now that we got those eagles out of the way, let's move on to some exciting chicken hawk footage. Actually, <laughs> next up, we have this bird of prey. Not another bald eagle. No, no, no. It does have similar coloring, but this bird is called an African fish eagle. Well, wait a minute. You mean this bird is part fish? Which part? No, Stinky. I, I bet it's called the African fish eagle because it's so good at catching fish. Mm -hmm. Watch for it. Dive, claws, grab, flip, and fly. All right there. Good catch, fella. Like the bald eagle, once the African fish eagle spots a fish and swoops down, she rarely ever misses her prey. Um, uh, I don't want to say anything, but aren't those crocodiles? Uh, you mean allodiles. They're crocodiles. Oh. And if you look, you can see a fish carcass lying in the water between them and the African fish eagle. Hey, hey, eagle, get out of there. Trust me, it's not worth losing your tail feathers for a piece of leftover fish. That eagle is deciding whether that meal is worth the risk. Yeah, and the crocodiles are deciding whether to eat that eagle. Well, those crocodiles may look slow, but if they decide to go after that fish, that eagle better watch out. Hey, eagle. Crocodiles can't fly, so start flapping and get out of there now. Though I can't watch. Looks like that eagle is trying to drag the fish away from the crocodiles. Well, now you know why I prefer to get my meals delivered. Oh, and who have we here? A vulture. Great. Vultures and crocodiles, my two least favorite dinner companions. That eagle is either very brave or very stupid. Hey, look, the crocodiles are swimming away. Well, I must have scared them off, I guess. <laughs> no need to thank me there, Mr. African Fish Eagle. Just doing my job as a chicken hawk. Nice work, Armstrong. Yeah, well, that's how we birds of prey operate. <laughs> and now let me show you the bravest of all birds, the chicken hawk. Uh, uh, not quite no. yet, Armstrong. Okay, all right, don't tell me. First, we have to see some more great pictures of another eagle. 
These are white-bellied sea eagles. Oh, and I bet they have great eyesight, sharp claws, and catch fish like there's no tomorrow, am I right? You are an expert. Mm -hmm. And now this white-bellied sea eagle is going to swoop down to catch another fish. Like, here he goes. He like, dives, claws, flap in again. There he goes. He's going right. to fly. That's right. And now after that, he'll no, probably... Don't stop me now. I'm on a roll. Oh, because, look, I, I guarantee he's going to do it again. Except probably in slow motion. Look at this. Here he goes. Look, he's swooping down like this. Look, he's diving. The claws. Now he's going to grab again. Look, the fish... Big deal. Great. Now look, he's gonna flap and he flies. Look at that. And now he's gonna fly up to that branch, I bet, and look around for some more fish. Watch, watch it. Look at I'm right. I'm right. See him? Well. Wow, Armstrong, you really do know a lot about eagles. Yeah, of course I do. Eagles, that's all I hear. You think they were the only birds of prey in the whole wide world. And I'll tell you, I'm tired of it. They're fine birds, but I've had enough. No offense, Mr. White Belly. Uh, wait, Armstrong, we have one more bird of prey to look at. If yes. it is another eagle, I am gonna and just... here it is. <laughs> now that's what I call a beautiful bird. Yeah. Oh, that beak, that face, those feathers. Oh, has there ever been a more magnificent creature? I think not. Well... <laughs> Thank you again, Armstrong. Uh, yeah. Hey, would you like to sing a song? Oh, well, I, I'd love to. Uh, uh, that yeah. may not be such a good idea. It's a song about eagles. Ooh. Eagles. I should have known. Oh. No thanks. I do not want to sing about eagles. Good day. Good day, Oh, Sam, you're still here. <laughs> there seems to be a slight mix-up. I don't have any money to get my car out of the parking garage. Oh, uh, uh, Sam, Sam, don't worry. We'll take care of it if you'll sing a song. What? Well, all I know is to dwell Oh, that's okay, Sam. Uh, just go right over there. Uh, yeah, We've yeah. got the music and everything all ready. Mm, this better be dignified. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's our very special guest, Sam the Eagle, singing, I'm an Eagle. I'm an eagle, I'm an eagle, I'm proud of what I'm called, and I'm proud to be American, I'm even proud I'm bald. Call me egocentric, call me what you will, in the nest I rule the roost. Excuse me, sir, you are blocking what I believe they call in television my shot. Well, now you know what it's like. You eagles have been upstaging me all day. It's just not American. By golly, you are right. It isn't American. It isn't fair. What may I do to give you justice? Oh, well, you could say something nice about chicken hawks in the second half of this song. Well, I suppose I could. All right, fine. Hey, maybe you're not such a bad egg after all. I'm an eagle. I'm an eagle. I'm proud to bear that name. Without me, then, America would never be the same. Call me egotistic. Call me what you are decent Americans, too. Hey, hey, Bunny, Bunny, did, did you hear what Sam said about me? Yes, I did, Armstrong. Mm, immortalized in song. What do you oh, know? Boy. <laughs> and now it's time for Animal Awards. Yeah. Today, we find out which of these birds is the highest flyer. Oh, uh, did I mention that Sam immortalized chicken hawks in song? Yes, Armstrong. Oh, I did. Now tell me which bird flies highest. The hummingbird. Mm, the hooper swan. The pharaoh's eagle. Or the gray-necked eagle. And the winner is... The hooper swan. Back in 1967, a flock of hooper swan was seen flying at the incredible altitude of 27,000 feet. Wow. Congratulations to the hooper swan, winner of today's animal award. So, so I did mention the same thing. <sighs> and now it's time for a story. Is it about eagles? No, it's about whooper swans. <laughs> yeah. Once upon a time, there was a flock of whooper swans. Now, one day, these swans heard that winter was coming. 
Winter's coming, winter's coming, they all whooped, and they took to the skies as quickly as they could. Though they loved their home in Siberia, the whooper swans knew they had to leave before winter arrived and froze all the water. Each and every one of these swans needed water to live. Hurry, 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 they said. After flying for many days, the swans landed in Japan. Though it was cold here, the water in the lakes never completely froze over. The swans settled down to wait for the other 16,892.5 of their friends who would soon be arriving for the winter. It was the perfect place with just enough water for them to swim in and just enough ice for them to sit on. And so the Hooper Swans spent the winter in Japan and lived whoopingly ever after the end. Ooh, nice story, Jake. Mm. But it could have used some eagles. <laughs> Not you, too. <laughs> it's habitat time. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Hey, did I tell you? Sam immortalized me in song? Yes. Oh, I'm strong? I did. Oh, good. Okay. So uh, uh, where are we going today? We're going to see Cliffs. C Cliffs? Uh, are you sure he doesn't mind us dropping in? Isn't a someone Armstrong. Cliffs are high steep rocks. Oh boy, let me guess. Are those eagles? Uh uh. Those are cliff swallows. Cliff swallows what? Cliff doesn't swallow anything. A swallow is a bird. And the cliffs are where they live, see? Uh huh. Cliff swallows nest in dense colonies on rocky cliffs. See, oh boy, that is one good looking bird there. Much better looking than that there. Uh, Eagle? Yeah. Yeah, if you say so, Armstrong. Most of the year, cliff swallows spend their time catching insects. But when it comes time to make cliff swallow chicks. Wait, 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 wait. Why would you want to make cliff swallow chicks? Is cliff an eagle? Armstrong, cliff swallow chicks hatch out of cliff swallow eggs. Oh, I get it. Hey, what are they doing there? They're making nests of mud. Watch. It looks nice and cozy, I can tell you that. And safe. Hmm, from eagles. Mm-hmm. Look, there's a rock squirrel. Oh, yeah. Oh, make that two rock squirrels. Oh, yeah, you'd think it would be too difficult to live on the cliffs. Yeah, it's pretty rocky. And it's a long way down. Yeah, but for animals like the rock squirrel, the rocks give them shade, shelter, and food. <laughs> hey, hello there, little fella. Don't worry, I'm not an eagle. Hey, what's he eating? Looks like a seed he's found. Rock squirrels can survive on seeds and vegetation they find scattered on the ground. Well, I gotta hand it to those rock squirrels. I know I couldn't live up here. I'd be afraid Cliff would swallow me or something. <laughs> you get it, Cl Cliffs? Yeah, I get it. I get it. Oh, oh I'm strong. Well, for habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And I'm showing the chicken hawk. Just back from the rocky cliffs. Over here, Rhonda. You know, Stinky, I think it's great how Sam immortalized Armstrong and Saul. Yeah, and then they found out that neither of them can stand living in the wild. <laughs> Thank you to our special guests, Sam the Eagle and Armstrong the Chicken Hawk. And to all our friends out there, until next time, remember to keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals.